Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I want to introduce you to this awesome, beautiful, amazing, fully pigmented beauty line, J Tory Beauty, palettes, eyelashes, blushes, highlighters, lash glue, you name it, she has it. Sponges, I am in love with this line. And I'm gonna take you through a full tutorial of me doing a very simple look. As you can see, it's kind of a sunset look. You guys know that I love simple looks, nothing too complicated, something nice and quick. So just stay tuned for the tutorial. Let's get started. So, yep, that's me. So I've got to create my brows and I love using the Anastasia um, pomade I'm sorry it's a, like a gel pomade and it's in the color chocolate it is my favorite I've been through probably 20 bottles of it a lot of people talk about me on how I do my brows but I learned this technique from Jackie Aina it's really easy to kind of get a nice formation of it you kind of create a unibrow and then you kind of clean it up I like to use that wet and wild concealer brush and then clean up the middle. Now I'm taking Too Faced Concealer and I am just using that as my base or primer. This really does help your eyeshadow to stick. I do find that using the MAC primers, the paint pots, they kind of make the eyeshadow stick out a little bit more than using concealer to me, but this was a nice soft look that I was trying to create, so it was perfect for me. I'm using her Sassy Palette, J. Tory's sassy palette and I'm using a 217 brush and as you saw those two dark colors I love mixing my colors and I'm just kind of creating that in the outer corner and into my crease this part did take a while and of course this is an edited video but it took quite a while to just make it buildable the way that I wanted it to be but the shadows are really really pigmented and very easy to blend I absolutely love love the palettes I've been using them every day since I received them now I'm going in again with the Too Faced concealer and again that wet and wild concealer brush that I absolutely love I got it on Amazon but I've also seen them in the Dollar Tree so and I also saw them in five and below. So if you have those stores, yeah, go pick you up this brush. I absolutely love it. As you can see, it's versatile. I use it for under my brow as well as um, a cut crease. I used that Amazon fan and just made sure that it was nice and dry. And then I'm going in with the very lightest color in here and then kind of creating that ombre look. So I'm starting in the inner third of the eye near the tear duct and a nice angle brush. MAC has 266, 266 brush, 263. You can also use Zoeva brushes. Whatever nice sharp brush will work for this. Even a flat shader brush will work for this. I went in with the gold next to go right next to it and I'm blending those two colors together as you can see. And I'm going in kind of with a pinky reddish color. Um, Jenny does a lot of beautiful Indian brides and that's why she created uh, many of these palettes. They have these beautiful looks with these reds and golds and yeah, you have to go on her website to see how beautiful, the beautiful makeup that she does, you'll be so amazed by it. She is in Texas so if you can get to her academy to be a certified makeup artist, she can train you and will train you within eight days. Um, of course, practice makes perfect, but you will be amazed on what you learn from her class. So I'm going in with a lighter, another lighter shade that's next to the lightest shade and going under my brow. And then a nice blending color that's in here, kind of a burnt orange, kind of going in here to make sure everything's nice and blended out. love to use the 224 brush for the blending out now I'm going in with the elf liquid liner love this I just go to my local target and I wanted to create a thicker line just remember this liquid liner is not super super dark but again this was going to be a soft beautiful look so that's why I chose to use this 
I a lot of times like to use the Inglot liner or the uh, Black Track liquid liner. This is Little Monster Lashes. These are in her collection. And I'm using LA Girl Gel Liner in the purple color and the green color before I put my lashes on it. The glue had to kind of get a little tacky, so that's what I'm kind of just mixing those colors together. The green more on the outer and the purple more in the inner. I'm just kind of mixing those colors. And now I'm popping on my lashes. Absolutely love these lashes. They are so beautiful. I've worn them probably five times now. Now going in with the foundation, NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Um, this, I believe, was the Alicia um, collaboration with NYX. Alicia Ashley, I think her name is. I absolutely love her. And this is one of Jenny's sponges. Absolutely love her sponges. Sponges do matter, and there are a difference in sponges. The ones that you get from Marshalls and a bunch of bunch of them in a bag, they're not good. This sponge is, to me, comparable, if not better, than Beauty Blender. I'm going in again with the Too Faced Concealer. And by the way, guys, I'm not getting paid to talk about this line. I absolutely love the line. Would not steer you wrong. Now I'm going in with Earth Foundation Stick for my contour. And then, once again, one of her sponges. This sponge is so amazing. Look at how it tucks under the eye. In the tear duct, I mean, you could go down and snatch your nose. This sponge is amazing. It's porous, it's soft. It gets even softer once you wet it and squeeze it under the water. It is so amazing. Kind of going under my contour. And just putting the powder on, you'll see it in a little bit, that sponge after, it's just amazing. Now this is the It Cosmetics brush. I love this brush, and this brush right now is on sale on It Cosmetics. I think for like, I'm not even gonna say the price, but you gotta go check it out. You'll find it on itcosmetics.com. But it gives me the perfect contour for my face. This is the blush and highlight palette. And as you know, I love to mix. I'm using a MAC brush. I mixed those three at the top and created my perfect color. This is perfect for all skin tones. So if you guys want to fill your kit with some things, go ahead and visit J, J Tori, I'm sorry, yeah, J Tori Beauty, I'm sorry, dot com. And now I'm mixing those two blushes, the ones together, one in the middle, I'm sorry, the highlight, the one in the middle and the one on the outer for that beautiful highlight, as you can see. down the center and I forgot to contour my nose so I'm going back in with earth foundation stick from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just this is a brush that is so old I don't even know the name of it but I believe I got it off of eBay and it's set one of those 30 brush sets look at that little cute sponge perfect for snatching that nose love it look at how perfect now I'm going in with the Ben Nye powder, and I got carried away with this powder, but yeah, you can always fix that by just brushing it off and then spraying your face with a nice Fix Plus. Or the e.l.f. spray, whatever you like to use, just to kind of help this powder to settle in. This is a lash curler to kind of blend those lashes, those fake lashes, as well as a curler. So I love to use it when I'm using mink lashes just to kind of press my lashes right in just to make sure they're nice and perfect. This is the Pro Lip Palette right now. This is not for sale, but I'm sorry I had to show you all this palette. This palette is amazing. I went in with Ch Chestnut Lip Liner from MAC Cosmetics. And I'm using a My Makeup Brush Set, a uh, little lip brush, or I like to use it for the lip, I should say. Very, very nice spread. And look at that beautiful coral lipstick. Amazing. Kind of going back over to make sure the lip liner stands out a little bit. And that's the look. Hope you guys enjoyed and take care and see you in the next one.